Hey guys, Christine Vallis here and definitely wanted to send out a post this week to send you some encouragement and to let you know where we are on God's calendar. So we are here in the month of Av, or right about in the middle of this month. And in this month, on the 15th day of Av, in Israel, there is a type of Valentine's Day. Now, when we think about a Valentine's Day in the United States, you know, we think about um, buying roses and getting chocolates for our Valentine and showing them how much we love them, right? Well, this holiday, the 15th of Av, is actually rooted and grounded in celebrating the love of God, the love of Abba, right? And, and we learned that, that Abba is, uh, comes from the root word of Av, and that's where we are this month. So the Lord is highlighting the importance of knowing that we are loved by God. Not how much um, we love God, but how much He loves us. Because guys, this is foundational. And I think, you know, the most popular scripture in the Bible, I think, is John 3, 16, right? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. And you know, the question is, how often do we meditate upon God's love, not so much for the world really, but for us? Do we meditate on his great love for us? Because guys, this is the foundation for everything. This is love, guys. Love is the greatest, right? The greatest of these is love. It is the foundation of our relationship with God. When we know we are loved by God, that revolutionizes our life, really. So how do we discover God's love for us? Well, it's all in the Bible here. This is his word of promises. It's his love letter to us expressing his unconditional love for us. And you know, there are so many scriptures that, you know, many of us know, you know, of the great love he extends to us, right? Like um, Jeremiah 29, 11, great are his plans for us. In the Psalms, it talks about many are his thoughts for us, right? How he is for us and not against us. So his word is full of the promises and showing his um, nature and his covenant to love us unconditionally. Also, um, uh, check out 1 John 4. I'm just remembering that that chapter, you know, says this. It says um, that this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son Jesus to be an atoning sacrifice for our sins. So all these promises of God's love is there for us in his word. And when we get a fresh revelation of God's love for us, what happens? Well, it creates trust. We can trust him. If we know someone loves us, we can trust them, right? So if we know that God loves us, like really know, then we can trust him. Then we can believe him. We've been talking about that this month, believing God, believing God. But you can really only believe him if you know that he loves you. So that is why this foundation of love is so important. And you know, once we have that trust, we can believe him and we can follow him because he is our good shepherd and we know it. So, so obedience really comes just automatically out of an overflow of knowing that we are loved by God. So the Lord wants us to be established in this love that he has for us. And um, he calls us to abide in his love. And, you know, when we do so, when we abide in God's love, in, in the word it says that God's love casts out all fear. So here's something interesting. If there's any area of our life where we see fear rising up or anxiety rising up, that is an indicator that we really don't have a fresh revelation of God's love for us in that area. But we don't have to fret, you know? All we have to do is turn our eyes from the flesh 
because that's what produces anxiety. We're trying to figure out things ourselves, how we're gonna figure it out. And so that creates anxiety. So we just turn our eyes off of our flesh and turn them, basically repent, right? Meaning turn, turn our eyes back on Jesus, back on God, back on his word, back on the true, the truth of his great love for us. And so when we do that, guys, that gives us an attitude of faith. And you know, the enemy is always attacking us, right? And he will attack us in this area of love, of our knowing God's love for us, because he knows it's the foundation of everything. And he also knows this, Galatians 5, 6 says that faith works by love. So what does that mean? Faith or belief or trust is activated when we know we are loved. So our faith works by love. When we believe, we trust God when we know that we are loved by him. So the enemy will do everything he can to separate us from that relationship, that intimacy with God because he knows that is where it all begins. So we need to guard our heart, right? And strengthen that love relationship that we have with the Lord and not be just complacent in God's love for us. And I think a lot of us are, including myself. I know God loves me and then I kind of move on from there. But we need to be reminded and be strengthened to strengthen that foundation of God's love for us. So how do we do that? We get in his word, we meditate upon those scriptures that show us God's love for us. We ask the Holy Spirit who is in us as believers to teach us and to remind us of God's love for us because that's his role and he loves to do that. And let's be encouraged to ask God, to ask Abba to show us how much he loves us. And that is not a prideful prayer, guys, because God is love and he delights in demonstrating his love for us. He wants to show us how much he loves us and he's waiting really for us to ask. And when God shows us, because he will, that is just going to activate our faith because faith works by love, right? So guys, let's get in his word. Let's receive his love. Okay, let's not show God how much we love him. Let's just receive how much he loves us. And then our love for him will just flow back automatically. And when we have this fresh revelation of God's love, we will be able to say, like the disciple John, what did he say in the book of John? He called himself, I am the disciple who Jesus loves, right? Jesus didn't say that about him, even though that was how he felt about him. But John himself said, I am the disciple that Jesus loves. And so we should be able to say that too. We are the children of God who Jesus loves. And when we have that fresh revelation, we can truly celebrate the love of the Father, not just in this month of Av, not just on the 15th day of Av, this Valentine's Day, but we can say it every day. So guys, let's get that fresh revelation of God's love. Let's get in his word and be established in his love and it will motivate us to good works and to love God and to love others. Okay guys, blessings and know that you are loved with an everlasting love of Abba Father. Thanks for listening.